Rivalry between Samsung and Apple has been going on for so long. Some things Apple do better and other things Samsung do better. But one component of smartphone where Samsung is way ahead of competition and is the current market leader is its display division. Samsung displays are no doubt the best displays in the business. That's why Apple turned toward Samsung when they needed OLED panels for their 10th anniversary iPhone 10. And Samsung provided them the best displays but they charged premium price for that. For every single sale of iPhone 10, Apple pays Samsung $110 for their displays. And because Samsung is the arch rival of Apple, they don't wanna completely rely on Samsung. That's why Apple invested $2.7 billion in LG's OLED display division. Yes, $2.7 billion. Because LG is the only one coming close to Samsung. Now the buzz is that Apple is secretly developing their own micro LED displays. Secretly like they are working in a warehouse downtown. Just kidding, I'm sure that they have a secret base with opening roof for aircrafts. As you already know by now, OLED displays are the best displays out there because they have the best color production, less power consumption and they are thinner than LCDs. But nothing lasts forever, OLED will be gone and micro LED will be the future. Micro LED has all the benefits of OLED displays and it also leaves the side effect of OLED like possible burn-in. Samsung showed their micro LED TV, the wall at CES this year. Samsung is also full on invested to the idea of micro LED and I'm pretty sure that they will show us the very first smartphone with a micro LED display. But if Apple is also working on this tech, there might be a possibility that they can beat Samsung in their own game. And by beat I don't mean that Apple will announce it before Samsung, I mean that maybe 5 or 6 years from now, Apple starts making better displays than Samsung, who knows. But I will say that don't take this with a pinch of salt, take this with a truckload of salt. Samsung has been the best in the business. They have more experience, they even have a working model, so clearly they are ahead of Apple. And guys, don't expect this technology to be released anytime sooner than 2020. Maybe Galaxy S11 or S12 can feature this technology. Let me know what you think about this and subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos. Until next time, peace out.